Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. Tanner here, what's up? What's happening, Tanner? Not much. Long time since we did a video. It yeah. has, I think the last time we did one was another one of these. One of these. <laughs> and what did we play? I think we played some Lenny Kravitz. I think we did. Are we gonna play some today? I think we have to. I think it'd be rude if we didn't. Here's a question for you. What if Gretsch decided to make a Fender looking guitar back in the 50s, what would it look like? It would probably look like this. It probably would look like this. I think you can uh, tell what they were going for here. I haven't got one for that. <laughs> Comes with the maple fingerboard, but without the veneer on the headstock, which for a Gretsch is quite unusual. And the maple provides a certain tone that only maple can, which is cool. Yeah, it's, it's got that kind of that kind of snap that, yeah. that only like certain like tellies or... Yeah or an older strap will have. Now yours has got two pickups, mine has only got one. Why is that? So this is kind of like the more Esquire style. This is more just Tele style with the uh, with the neck humbucker. Yeah, yeah. And these things, they sound in incredible. They sound exactly like you would expect a Gretsch Fender collab. Yeah. <laughs> Josefina Wound Chicago Special uh, Tele Pickup, uh, Esquire, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. kind of sound. Uh, you've got a humbucker, what is that yeah, all about? Yeah, that's the uh, Seymour Duncan Antiquity. Okay, and, and it, it sounds good, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. It, it, it does the it does the, the neck humbucker thing. Yeah. But it, this is more the traditional st uh, Tele style yeah. with the uh, humbucker in the neck. I'd probably go for that, just for the versatility of it. Yeah, I grabbed this one not knowing that you wanted it first. That's so okay. That's my bad. A, that's okay, I don't mind. I'm a nice guy. You'll play it, I'm sure. I'll play it. <clears throat> Well, yeah, I mean, I'm a huge fan of uh, humbuckers in, well, in general in the neck, to be honest. I mean, that's the thing with my tellies at home. I wish they had a humbucker. Now, obviously, this isn't a telly. It's a Gretsch telly-esque. Yeah. yeah, I used it a little bit when we were doing the uh, the Stones thing. Yeah, and yeah. It, it, it is really fat. It's yeah. really creamy. It sounds awesome. Yeah. And it's so much more versatile than something with only a single pickup or yeah. even just a, a single coil in the neck. So. Now, but in all honesty, though, when you turn that tone down, you can't. it's more versatile than you think. Uh, oh, yeah. when I was messing around with this. Uh, really nice and light. I mean, it's, it's yeah, crazy it's how light it is. Um, very cool guitars. I always love doing uh, demos on these. Very cool, such a great shape. And this might be one of my favorites, purely because of the look of it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this, I think, is our fourth caddy bowl demo together. Something like that. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Uh, we've done, what, how many Kravitz songs? Have we done one We've done each? one in each video. We're struggling now. I think the only one left is Again. I don't even know that. It's that ballad he did in the 90s. I'm not singing it this time. You got me on camera on the last video singing. We could do American Woman. You want a bad version. Yeah, we could do that one. Go. <laughs> I don't know how to play it. Thank <laughs> you. 